Hi guys, my name is Nash and in this video, I will demonstrate how to perform post-mortem care. So for those who do not know what post-mortem care is, it is basically uh, a care that we provide for the patients who are already passed away. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first step to do is basically cover your overbed table with paper towels. Unfortunately, in this video, I do not have an overbed table. Instead, I use a chair. Afterwards, you can place all your uh, supplies and equipments on the overbed table. Afterwards, you need to adjust the height of the bed so that uh, you can work comfortably and you can perform uh, good body mechanics. Following on is you need to put on your gloves. Always remember, even though that the patient is already passed away, uh, putting on gloves is also very important uh, for the safety of the workers and also the environment. And don't forget to remove any devices that are attached to the body. For example, ECG. Do this when a nurse orders you to do so. Place the body in a supine position uh, with the pillow supporting the head and also the shoulder. This will also be the time where you will be removing the clothes that are present on the body. Remove the clothes gently and then place a bath blanket to cover the body. You should also be reminded that during this time, you should close the patient's eyes and also remove any dentures that are present on their body. Not only dentures, but also includes jewelry and place their jewelry in a bag. Next step is to bring a wash basin filled with warm water and place it on your over bed table. From here on, we will begin cleaning the body. So as you can see, I'm actually dipping my washcloth in this warm water and I start cleaning the body starting from the head, the body, the arms and all the way down to the legs. Don't forget to comb the hair because this will actually make the corpse look more pleasing uh, to the family members. Do it gently and slowly, but do not play with the hair. If the family members of the deceased are planning to visit uh, the corpse, then you should replace the bath blanket with a new gown. Also change the bed linen with a new one in case the old one has already been soiled. When family members of the deceased has arrived, let them have their own private time with the deceased. Only after they left, then can you start calculating and notifying all the belongings of the disease. Write it down and also place all of the jewelries and other personal belongings into a bag. Bear in mind that you should be writing three tags because one tag will be placed on the feet of the patient, one tag will be placed on the belongings of the patient, and one more tag will be placed on the shroud in case it is used. If you guys do not know what is a shroud, this picture demonstrates what a shroud is. It is basically an equipment in which we will place the patient's body inside. Not this shroud, for real though. In this part, I have transferred the disease into a shroud and now I am actually removing the bed linen uh, to replace and dispose it. After you have removed the bed linen, then you should be waiting for further uh, instructions because the corpse will then be transported to a different place by a stretcher and don't forget to dispose all of the used equipment and lastly always keep in mind about the culture of the deceased different cultures have different methods of handling the corpse that's why you should always ask for information from the family of the deceased about handling the deceased body so that's it for this video thank you for watching